Howdy, howdy, everybody. My name is Taffy Lemon, and welcome back to another episode of Slime Rancher. Um, I was going to start this episode in the glass desert. I did a little bit of off-camera work, just some, like, ranch maintenance and stuff. So, I have more money and more blueprints now. And another star mail. So, that's the only reason why I'm here. <laughs> Coming home. Casey. Hi, B. The year we both came home, do you think it could ever have worked? I mean, being with you again every day instead of the long distance thing, that was great. I remember feeling really happy, but something was missing. We both knew that we were giving something up for it all. I think it, about it all the time, that if we had been less honest about it all, how you might still be running that little garden shop and I'd still be trying to write music out of the basement. It doesn't matter. I should have told you then when I never did. I should have said it a hundred times. Casey. Isn't that sweet? And here we are. Oh, oh my god, turn around. Thank you. See if I can find another one because I'm just so epic. This is where he is. Big fat man. Alright, let's go find... Two gordos on him. So look at how pretty everything is. Okay, but like, what if? Oh, no.
I'll be right back. It's all better. It's okay. What the? Okay. Well, we popped one Gordo so far. I would like it if the game didn't lag, but that's all right. Oh, there it's a. is how far they can reach. within this episode we can finish the game because I really want to get this game done. It's not like I don't love playing it. I even said earlier that I was kind of stalling on finishing it. It's just that this habit is finally caught up to me. And now Slime Wearing Tier 2 is out and I can't exactly play it because I'm not done with this one yet. I have to go back to the ring to put away this gold glory. I got lucky though. Today's just a luck alley, isn't it? Last episode, which I also recorded today, if you couldn't tell, um, we got Gilded Ginger on our first ever visit to the glass desert, so... Oh, also I forgot to feed the rats on time on. Alright, let's take a look at the market and see how much this is worth. Eh, I can wait. Plus, even then, maybe I'll have more things to sell by then.
All right. Let's go ahead and then back to the glass desert because I don't want to run out of time and have not popped a cord. <laughs> I like the noises that the glass makes. It's so pretty. But, uh, anyway, we are finally here. texting me. I need to figure out how to get back up to that uh, dervish gordo. First, for so long, I would call it like a devilish gordo. Or a dervilish gordo. It was the stupidest thing ever. I was goofy. star mail from Casey. Also good fucking, you know what? Whatever. We don't care. Anyway, we care much more about this game. That is a stupid mobile game that I can play in the morning. right now. It doesn't seem to understand that I'm busy. Raining fire from the floor now, please. Please. All right, I guess they're not stopping.
Let's see. Now, where was that slime door again? Not over here, but I believe. Is it back there? Or up there? I think it's back here. There we go. That's the slime seed. Anyway. Looks like I need mosaics then for the rest of this. Looked like one of the packages. Big move. No, I do not know where I am. Oh. Must have been one heck of a scorcher that caused these glass formations. They always looked like flames to me, like a great firestorm covered this land before being frozen in time. Then again, maybe these flames are burning away, but at a pace we can't even perceive. Perhaps this desert has two different times overlapping one another, and here we are, stuck in the middle of it. Won't that just be wild? H. Yes, it would. That makes no sense. Anywho. and it's going to be hell for me to edit, but that's okay. See. I'd rather not drown and have to like walk all the way back here again. Two doors, Beatrix. Life is filled with moments where there's two doors and you can only choose one. I came to the far, far range because a search for the unknown is in my bones. And in time, even a thousand light years away from Earth wasn't enough. So I searched for secrets within the ancient ruins that led me here. This place was my ticket to go even further. Eight. Huh. The ruins are actually great engines that allow for travel through space and maybe even time. After years of study, I knew how to activate them, and I alone would be the first to cross over into the future beyond. It's the ultimate adventure. But then there's that other door. I met Thor and fell in love. What are the chances of that? She had a piece of my heart, and the universe had the other. Two doors, Beatrix. Itch. 
can I travel through space and time? That shows my door. I went back to the ranch and promptly sold it. I packed my things and took a tour of this beautiful land one last time, leaving these little notes for you. It was time I said goodbye to the life I had. My hands and feet tingled as I approached this monolithic warp terminal. But lay ahead of me was an adventure unlike uh, anything I had ever known in my life. I stepped onto the platform, my heart racing. Eight. broken now <laughs> or does he mean this that's actually probably a point in the sequel so i always wondered if you could like actually travel because it's like it looks like there's another portal so maybe in the second game that's what the oh my god that was pretty oh they're everywhere anyway Maybe in, like, the second game, that's where we go. Anyway. But I didn't go. I had packed for a new adventure, but it wasn't going to be beyond space and time. So I said a little goodbye to what could have been, and head to Thor's Ranch. I'm looking forward to hearing the sound of those wind chimes. I've never been in love before. Never known anything like it. It's time I got to knowing what all the, fu all the fuss is about. So good luck to you, Beatrix. Always remember to use your head, but let your heart do the thinking every now and again. It might surprise you. H. Oh my god, let me turn around. There we go. Ah! That's very much the slime sea and not it's solid ground. Anyway. I do not trust myself to make this jump. Now I do. Oh, there's another jump. Okay. Welcome back to that. I've got a cave to explore now. Oh. It's just a fast track back out here. Oh, and yes, I am absolutely going to ignore the fact that I have a star mail right now. I am busy. I totally set that alarm earlier to make me stop recording, and I set another one because I knew I was going to ignore it, so... I'm probably going to ignore that one, too. It's too 
perfect of a place not to put a stack to. They didn't put a statue in it, and I'm just a big stupid idiot. Anyway. Fifteen more minutes. Hopefully. Set to gaze upon the sand, see out there. No, I've scoured every corner of the desert, and and, the, uh, and everywhere I look, that sand sea stretches to the horizon. Makes you wonder just where the heck on the far, far range you are when the slime sea is nowhere to be found. Gage. I need to find another one. And I know it's around here somewhere because I've ga no, I've played this game several times before. I just have to find it. Wow, great, thanks. Very helpful. This game have I ever looked up a walkthrough, but I think I might do just that because this is getting annoying. It's here somewhere, I know it is. I'm looking it up. Alright, did I get the one on the ledge? Tells me probably. Oh, come on, energy. It's got to be around here somewhere. You silly little goose. I stand, I regain my energy, and then I go. No. Thank you. 
No! There we go. Gib. Finally. So obviously over here I'm supposed to Where's the mosaic? <gasps> that didn't happen. I did not just accidentally kick the cord out of my thing. Shut up. I'm just gonna chill out here. that way? That way, I'm just a big stupid idiot who got where she wanted to go anyway. Hi to Suki, everybody! This is my little baby girl. She tolerates being picked up sometimes. Right now she doesn't want to be so put her down. Okay, but then you'll get stuck. Anyway, <laughs> and I know because it's happened before. Moving on. Fun fact, cats don't have good breath. <laughs> she licked my nose. And uh, her breath didn't smell very good. But it was still cute, so... She gets a pass from me on that. Because she's adorable.
That's not very possible, is it? No, it's not. Anyway, we're gonna go ahead and go back. I think this star mail is the last star mail. And if I'm mistaken, then I'll do another episode. It's getting late. I need to take a shower and I am tired. But don't get me wrong. I love recording. This is all of what I do. I love doing this. And I am so excited to have the Slime Rancher 2 experience with you guys. It's gonna be so much fun. watched like eight different uh, sets of plorts just materialize out of nowhere. That was funny. Uh oh, these guys are angry. Better feed them at least. And we'll get We will still get some episodes of me restoring and revitalizing the glass desert and everything, but then we can finally move on. And I'm so excited for that. It's gonna be so much fun. You guys have no idea how much I've been wanting to play Slime Rancher too. Okay, if these people like to pause it like any faster, thank you. Okay, bye bye losers. They're still mad at me, of course, but you know. They're slightly less angry now. They're a little bit less of angry whiny babies. Sunday. It will be like the end of everything and if I have time I can do more things. Unless, unless it's quick. Anyway, I mean I guess I'll read the star mail and then I'll end. I promise. Um, London, Casey. I know it was the right thing to do, I appreciate you letting me know, but it never felt the same as having you close by. London was an opportunity I couldn't pass up, an opportunity to do, uh, to tour and to do what I love, but I still missed you like crazy. And when you told me you, about um, going to the Far Far Range, it made me miss you even more, even before you were gone. I guess that's just us, but we really want just so happens to be in different parts of the known universe. I mean, there's long distance, and then there's being so far away that time itself might actually function differently. Why throw more songs about that, huh, Casey? And that's where I'm gonna end for um for today. If you liked it, don't forget to leave a like, uh, subscribe. If you want to see more content like this, and if you want to see Slime Rancher 2, I am very excited to start playing that. Um, don't forget to leave notifications on for when I do start playing that, so that you'll get notified of it. And um, I think that about wraps it up. Don't forget to comment feedback in the comments below, and uh, follow me on my other social media. Bye! Try to call you